My name is Suman Kumar and currently I'm teaching artificial intelligence and then the other courses they are in the realm of cyber security. So I'm teaching uh, advanced penetration testing and network defense at a master's level, you know, the graduate course. And then I'm teaching uh, ethical hacking and cyber security uh, theory and technique, which is really about defending your digital infrastructure. So these are some of the things that I've been teaching recently. So my journey has started as a PhD student and I started working in computer networks that time. And then, you know, there was a lot of advances happening around that time. And there was a clear direction towards developing system that were driven by the data. So, you know, I believe that uh, I really started to uh, work on the data driven system in 2014-2015. Uh, and that's when I and one of my students, we actually work on a project called SaferNet, which was about the safe transportation and routing. So usually the GPS actually gives you the shortest path in, the, in terms of distance or in terms of the time, but not the safest path. And obviously, uh, when you have a storm, uh, you never know which path is safe. I mean, GPS is still giving you uh, paths based on you know, the shortest time and the shorter distance, but not safest path. And basically, the outcome of that work that, that my student, he got uh, admission, PhD admission with full funding. That actually became the basis for his PhD work. And then he ended up getting a job from Stanford. So he's a research scientist at Stanford right now. I started to get more and more into AI. So I did some natural language processing also, analyzing social media data, uh, say Twitter, for health, you know, what kind of conversation people are having and what kind of sentiments they actually have. So my current work is basically how to design a smart city for disaster pro zone. So what we are doing right now, we are taking the earthquake data. Basically, it's a spatio-temporal data. So you have the earthquake epicenter and then is a spreads and the tremor and spreads and you have a different kinds of damages. And then we are looking at if we have to design such kind of a smart city network for, let's say, some place like Alaska, uh, what would that a smart city network look like? We try, you know, in the department, we try to focus on uh, we look at, you know, periodically that which direction the world is moving. And it's not just me, you know, my other colleagues, you know, they are also doing some really fascinating work. Uh, one of my colleagues is doing a blockchain. Then there is another colleague. He is actually doing some biologically inspired, you know, computation models. So we have we have some really good talented people in the department.